Frisco, well gone, my G. There you are. Infamous. Yes, yes. What are you saying? I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm giving thanks every day, man. Yeah, yeah, Honestly, yeah. giving thanks every day. You lot dropped something today. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. How comes not today, by the way? I don't know. It's Why today? Like, come out. Everyone usually drops on a Friday, right? Thursday and Friday is usually like the two days that people drop. Drop on, innit? Yeah, yeah. Thursday and Fridays. I had a light theory, by the way. My light theory was that anyone that drops outside of a Friday is, is dropping because on a different day because they're not trying to play the industry full week I'm selling this amount chart me in this position type thing it's just I'm just giving you the music yeah. if someone's dropping on a Friday for me it seems as though yeah, yeah let's ways. give it a full week and see what we can do Yeah, I don't know if it's that deep for you but no. it's just that yeah 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 you know, I've never when have you ever known me to get caught up in all that yeah, it's what it is, man. We just let the music do what it does, bro. And we know what it does. Right then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's cold that you two. I think when you came here before, I'm sure that like there was. I don't know if there was like a definitive link up that was gonna happen, but there was clearly a, a musical chemistry that was working between the two of you, innit? Yeah. For sure. So what, yeah. like from the get go. After that, was it a pro? Did you know straight away this is a pro? It has to be a project thing. Well, like the first two songs we done to we made together was Bad and Clean and mm-hmm. UFO. They were the first two songs we made together. Yeah. And just based off of the the feedback on those songs, we knew that we had like a little formula. But I didn't think we really we really knew that we was going to do a project. Like, we was always toying with the idea, but we didn't know we was actually going to do a project until we had, like, f- four or five songs done. Yeah. Like, as if, remember, we both produce, <coughs> so there's times where I might be sending Isaac stuff, Isaac might be sending me stuff, like, look, this is a song with a book on it, what do you, what do you think of it, next thing, the song's yeah. done. I and think, then, with Frisk, it was just easy as well. Like, like, like he's saying, we just sent, ideas back and forth and what we'd receive back was just it was always quick and easy like mm. the ideas were always like sick really quickly in it so i think it just kind of happened naturally it's like a natural working chemistry that we kind of built up mm. you know what I'm so yeah and it, and it didn't it didn't feel like it just felt like really easy if that makes sense yeah, you know, yeah like yeah. When you don't really have to think about yeah, much it just, it just second nature thing. just rolls out yeah. kind of thing so yeah by the time we had like four or five tunes it's like look this is a project yeah. let's just you know what i mean and we had a few other songs that we had on there that we changed took off um went back into certain projects like the song with chip yeah um some was originally it, um, was just me and something different yeah something different. that's hard there's hard, a so, there's a sample flip on that as well isn't it yeah yeah, yeah it's hard so yeah, like that's the only feature. Uh, obviously, apart from the bad and clean remix, but we did we wasn't gonna have any features on the project. But that was one song that I felt like Chip sounded like he would he would 100%. sound good on this. And when I played him the project out of all the songs, he said, "Yo!" Before I told him which song I wanted, he said to that. On, that was he that said one. that one. That was the one. So yeah. 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 Chip Cole though, it's, like, yeah, crazy. it's hard for him to not, especially on that that tempo as well it's hard for him to not even sound good on that but um infamous like listen t- like where did you come from bro like, tell me about <laughs> you bro tell me about and do you know what tell me with your chest as well i don't want the lean back the cold like i i want to know like because i've seen you more now since the bad and clean thing or whatnot i've known yeah. you've existed i know you've been about in that but bad and clean is the first thing that i have loved yeah, yeah? We talked about that earlier on the pod before, but um, but where do you come? Where do you come from, bro? Like, How do you mean? Who where, are where you? Do I like, come where? From? like country, everything. So I mean, I'm from South London first and foremost. I'm a Jamaican. Yes, yeah, yeah right. man. Right, strong. He's one of us, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes me happy. Yeah. 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 But um, other than that, I mean, I'd say. What ends are you from? Um, not far from Brixton. Like. Right, right, right. Like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from Brixton. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I first originally grew up in Peckham. Then I moved to where I live now, West Norwood. And that's where I'm still. So what's your musical history? What did you, did you 
was your dad like it's like a mixture of my dad and my auntie so my dad was like straight reggae like that's his that's his thing isn't it you go in his car he's got a sub he's just Saying, remember them days? Yeah. Remember that's, that. That's my dad. Jeez, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that. That's old school. <laughs> Still, even to this day, he's still got a sub in the back. You know, like, the and way the, the way the cars are sort of wired up now, you can't really put a base box yeah. in that in the, in the boot no more, yeah. innit? Like, that's and I guess they've kind of like... Yeah. Still, even now, he's he still got a sub in the back of the, the boot. His thing. Like, you know, Is it a BMW? Is it an old BMW? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh, my days. He's always had a BMW, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You switch it up, but it's always a BMW, innit? So, that's my dad. But then my auntie's like R&B. Like old school love songs, um, jagged edge, like all of that. That's my auntie. So my mum's into music, but not as much as them two. So I think those were like my first like musical influences. My my dad and my auntie, and then um, I just like got into to rap, like Little Wayne and Grime in it. Like Channel U was like where I first kind of discovered my own interest for music. Cause I used to come come home from school. Like my mom's always working in it, so I'd be at home by myself, sort of thing. And then I'm just watching Channel View every every evening. That's like my my musical DNA. So was you rapping before producing, or was you producing first? I started music kind of late, to be honest, you know. So I was just a fan of music for a long time. Um, but I started rapping first, and then producing afterwards. Like, but not it's it's a similar sort of time frame. Because the person I started rapping with was a producer, um, and he just wanted people to like jump on beats. But the way he was kind of wired, he's not really one of them people that takes um, feedback. Or because sometimes I try and give him ideas, or like just chime in on what I want in the beat, and he ain't really trying to hear that. So <laughs> <laughs> he's one of them ones, isn't it? He's one of them ones. So I just said to myself, like, I might as well just learn to do it myself, innit? So I asked him for the software, and then. He can. He gave it to you. Yeah, he gave it to me. Though. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he just think. Don't tell me about my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go do your. Go do your thing though. Yeah, yeah. But you have to respect at the same yeah, time. You might not yeah. agree with it, but same you can respect. You can respect course. Because he could have said to you, "Nah, go buy that." Or look, yeah, give me a whatever for it. You get what I'm saying? He gave me the software, bro. Yeah, man. I can't. I can't. As he should. Hold him in it, so. As he should. Yeah, but like. um I just started experimenting from there, innit, with the production and like making music myself. Them times it was super tired, I can't lie. <laughs> like, I used to it make always beats is though. Off tempo. Do you think like, that it's good though? It was you good. You thought it was good. It was good. I, I knew I had something. But it was dead though. <laughs> In hindsight, it was good. <laughs> it was good. Dead, though. <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, it was dead. But then you were, it was good, but in real life, it was dead. Not that it yeah. was dead, but. You could tell that it just wasn't some good. Work. Yeah, you you could see the potential. Yeah, in it. yeah. but it wasn't good. Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't that. Nah. <laughs> the ideas were there, but the execution wasn't there. Right, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. So right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't Chunky know how to like try and pop down your <laughs> you get me? Yes. That's so, yeah. that sometimes you just got to do that, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah in the beginning all. it was dead, so, man. But. Yeah, man. It's just, I think my my artistry kind of grew through just experimenting and spending time by myself, just working on what I'm trying to create and. Just learning from other people, yeah. Just, just I think just a homegrown sort of um, build up sort of thing. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, you definitely got sound like you got a, a good production style in it. Like, yeah, I, can, that, I, I I feel like the more that I listen to your uh, your production, I can almost tell it's you, which is yeah, good. That's hard. Um, see, bad and clean, yeah. Yeah. But you produced that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you give that to anyone else before you gave it to Frisco? No. Be honest. Swear down. No. I had that beat for a while as well. I remember, yeah, I think I was working on the, uh, I was think I was just working on the tune and Frisco called me and I was like, yo, listen to this. And he's like, yeah, it sounds hard. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put a hook in it and send it to you, innit? And then I remember I sent it to him. <laughs> he sent me a voice note or something <laughs> going crazy like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I remember that day. That was, that was a funny day. And then he sent back the, the first verse. Like, I remember what, I was in Shoreditch with my boy. We was about to go out, innit? So I was in his car, we was like drinking, whatever. He sent me the verse. <laughs> he was going mad, like. I, see, I played in the car, innit? Bruv. From that point, we already knew like it was peak, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, it's mad, but you know, I think, yeah, if you played that to me, on my, on my life, 
I genuinely believe that if you said to me, who should you put on there? Yeah. And I was to name three people, I think Frisco would have been the number one. Yeah. And I think it's purely because there's a still a yarn style in there. Yeah, Just yeah. Just You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, trust Before me. anyone's yeah. even, it becomes evident when you're on it. Mm. But even if you take you out of it, you yeah. hear it and you're of like. Of course, remember, even even without any vocals in yeah. it, you can hear the like kind of dance or element in the trust beat. Me. Even though it's not dance or tempo. No, no you, can hear, you can hear the element. Mm. But then remember, on the hook, he's. No, 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 So before I've said anything, you're already there. Already, right, you get right, me? right. Already right, in right. Tivoli Gardens by the time. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one of our means Tivoli. Yeah, man. Listen, you're spending, you're not even spending much time in England right now, Frisco. And it feels like any time I go on your Instagram and I go on your, your, your Insta snap, you're somewhere in yard. Yeah, bro. Car. That's what stage we're at right now, man. We're just, you know trying to um, connect certain dots in Jamaica that I should have connected years ago, to be honest. But you know when, like, you're mm. so busy in your own mm-hmm. UK stuff mm. and whatever other stuff, that I never really embraced or connected with the music out there, even though I'm heavily influenced by it. But when I'm out there, I'm just on holiday. Yeah, Do you get what I mean. Yeah. Like I might go studio every now and again, but like more time when I go yard, I'm just going yard to chill and, mm. and have a have a nice time. You get me. Whereas mm. the last couple of times I've gone, I've been connecting properly, like linking up with the right producers, mm. doing the right works. So just building for the future, basically. You get what I mean. Even not even just for me, like for people like Isaac and the rest of the artists that I'm working with as well, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the artists, I've, not not all of them, but a lot of the artists I work with have a similar type of, that, vibe. that similar type of energy, you get yeah. me? They don't sound similar to each other, but I'm saying there's... They sit in the same a, place. There's a Jamaican influence mm. in in all of their styles, you get what I'm saying? Which is probably what caught my ear right. in the first place. Mm. Right, right, right. And you're, you got, because you got, you got a, a big son as well, isn't it? Yeah. So it must be, like, because I remember one time I see you out there with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that must be nice as well to be able to just take him there and, like, I don't know if he does music or anything like that, yeah, but more so just, huh? He does, does music. music. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the first, he does music. Like, we, I had a show the other day and brought him out, like, he's come out, he's come out at some of my other shows before, but to do his, Thing. I brought him out to do his music, innit? Mm. Um, I've got a tune on Tottenham, on the Tottenham EP, Peanut Punch. He's on there. Oh, is your son on there? Yeah, he's a second Oh, mad. Oh, I didn't know that. Was a, so that was the first him. time we actually worked together. Well, what's that like? That was a bucket list moment. Yeah. But it was like, it felt like it was the right time as well, because he, we'd, I'd always liked the idea of being able to do music with, your, with my son, and he's sent me loads of songs prior to that, that he'd want to work on, and I'm like, with the right, when it's the right, the right song and the right time and the right project as well. I don't want to just do a song and it's just, yeah, 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 you know yeah I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather it be on my project where I can push it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what I did with Pat, with Peanut Punch. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? But that was just like a song. I brought it, he's come and performed it a couple of times, but the other day I had a show and brought him out and we performed it together and then he done one of his own songs. Even though that's not the first time we've been on stage together, it's the first proper performance of just me and him right. together. You get me, and that felt good. That that felt good. I'm not right. gonna lie. Like the, like at the time, it was just felt like it was just clockworks. But like after, and I really sat down and digested what just. And I'm seeing the pictures like of yeah, being on stage yeah, together. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, right, yeah, that yeah. is that's serious. You know, like this. That's that's a bucket. That's you know what I mean? That's ticked off the bucket list because, yeah, I didn't really... That's cold, man. It's too cold, isn't that it? That is you know cold, I mean? man. I think, yeah, it's that, and I think, I, I, like, I don't know, I haven't got a big son, but it's like, you must get to a point when you think, rah, like, that's a real special thing to be able to do. Do you Definitely. know what I mean? And also, not even just the the um the makings of doing it, but also the fact that, like, you're still very active and like 
to so many people seen as a super certified cool brother. So like for him to have his dad there and for him to be at an age where he can make music as well and cut through and whatnot and it connect that way, like yeah. that's a different type of synergy. Yeah, it's thing. a special thing still, it's a special thing. I'm not gonna lie. And I have to give thanks for that. Hundred, hundred. Definitely. Um, Indeed is a next, is a one of the rhythms that I like on there. I like indeed what so it's UFO obviously a new UFO something different um, indeed were the ones that I definitely was going back to a lot yeah. indeed as well I think you said like one of the lines was something about um, about only God knows how you made it through because you had some um, yeah went through some, some si- serious yeah. phases and that yeah, yeah. what were they. What do you mean? What where were the phases? Yeah, yeah. Just Some growing, just being in the streets, bro. Mm. Like just being in the streets and your headspace being in the wrong headspace. You know, poet, like what kind of like you know what I'm talking about. So I get, I guess there's certain people that would have known me then that might not have known nothing. Mm. But then there's certain people that would have known, and they might see me today and say, "Right, you're different to how you." back then bro. you are though do you get what I'm saying you're like, bare different <laughs> I'm like, so you're bare do you, different do you get what I'm saying so like just a different headspace bro just the ignorance just uh, not even just the ignorance but even though that was a lot but I mean more just everything the activity man was active in the streets so it was like it was risky bro it was a lot of things that man got through that if like I was saying the other day if you if if man's parents, them time, knew certain things that mm. man went through and come out the other side unscathed, they wouldn't believe you if you told them. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So that's why even even like this generation now, I get it, bro. Mm. I get it. We can't act like we was angels, bro. We can't act like, you know, oh, shit. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's mad. Yeah, we, I'm not saying it's not mad. And things are not like, Amplified. Mm. Wow. Fam, back in the day was crazy. Back in the day so it was, was mad as well. Crazy, so. Yeah, yeah. With no you cameras. I mean? So, so and that's just more what I was talking about, man. Like, I even myself, I might not have, because I said, um, only God knows how I, how I um, came through these phases. Never thought I'd see myself on wireless stages. You get mm. what I'm saying? So mm. them times there when I was going through them things, I wasn't seeing no fucking wireless or. Mm. Studios or whatever. Even though I could still do, I, I could still spit, but you didn't really see a career in it like that. Why well, didn't anyway? Mm. Until like I really got into it. You get what I mean? Mm. The tra- traveling broadens your perspective in that. Definitely. Well, when you step out of the block. Definitely, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like I think that's one of the biggest seeing seeing other and even just making you appreciate shit as well. Mm. You get me? I go a yard and. I see my little cousins, like if I go country and see my little cousins running around and they're just happy, bro. They ain't right. got shit. Like, right. Not like that, but they don't care about an iPad and all that. No. Mm. You get what I mean? They're, but they're simple. happy though. Right. Chucky, you get what I'm saying? Chucky, I'll tell you, yeah. 2009, 2010, I started That's a Rap. Frisco knows. I see him outside Mush in Will Green. <laughs> I run up to him. Well, go on. He spins around like there's an issue. I'm thinking, yo, yeah. Because no, no, first no. off, a man running up to you is mad already. Yeah, you yeah. Me? That's mad already. You need to remember yeah. what times these were. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm course, saying? Crazy yeah. times. These are crazy times. A man running up to you. What? Wait, hold on. What? Yeah. What? 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 Your, your back's up already. Yeah. Now the man he's with has stepped forward as well. Right. I've had to say no, no, no YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube. I do YouTube. Yeah. I do YouTube. I want to be on the show, and everything's come yeah. off at the moment. <laughs> But like the energy then, I always remember, I was like, I'm mean, even before that, way before that as well, to comparison to now, obviously you grow and you grow older, but some people get older, but they still sustain this sort of like, I can't describe it, like you still don't feel cool to approach them for some strange reason. They still sort of have this yeah, yeah, hard yeah. shell. Whereas Frisco's moment, like everything transcended, bro, it was just, it was like a meeting a completely different person. Yeah, yeah. I never had to encounter the problems, maybe other people did, but... When you meet, it's just a whole different Frisco. I can't lie, it's a whole different type of person than it was like 13 years ago, 100%. It's an environmental thing as well. There's so much things happening in and around that time, adding to the fact that probably, you know what? You, at them ages there, probably feel like you've got a lot of it all figured out. And then you get a little bit older, your experiences change, 
luckily you, was, you get to tra travel and whatnot and it just changes a certain element of perspective. I filmed the checkup with Digger and like one thing that Digger said to me was, um, we was talking about olders and like advice and that. And he was like, no one can't give really me give me advice. Like, yeah. like, cause I'm going through what I'm going through and, and things have changed now. Like, you like, didn't even try to help me. Like, I can give you perspective. But yeah, yeah. To no, but do you know what it was? Do you know what? Yeah, even in that moment, I'm going to get to a point. Even in that moment, I already knew today's not the day for me to tell yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because, yeah. Get, do you know what? I understand. I understand what he's saying. Because at his age and what he's experiencing, he can't, like, in his mind, it's like, you have, we have to remember when we were young and the, the older lot was trying to, might have been trying to say X, Y, and Z and whatnot. He was just the older brother, bro. Like, you don't understand it. It's different now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, the way that you get through to someone is not by doing the big brother thing in that moment. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I think even then, at that time, when you was young doing whatever it is that you did, probably, probably exactly the same thing. It is what it is. Like, mm. whatever's going on in the hood is going on in the hood. And right now, I'm not even trying to hear someone telling me the sensible thing to do. Like... If I be honest, bro, them times there, the, the old, our olders weren't telling us nothing. We wasn't advising, wasn't nothing. I <laughs> <laughs> hear that still. That's just true. <laughs> that that is treacherous. Like, they, 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 yeah. Don't get me wrong. There was a few, one and two, who's like directly, I would say, yeah, there was one and two, but generally, nah, they weren't. There weren't no, like, nah. That's yeah, just the truth. Honestly, that place is a, one of the great. No one, one weren't, no one weren't giving you no nothing. No, no one weren't trying to give you no advice or bust you or not or bring you in. Or if that. anything, it was just you know what here, hold that. That's why a lot of people. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah it hold, was bear that, hold, hold that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bear that. But that's why a lot, a lot of times, man will make their little name from the ends, and then they're not preying no one. They're just doing their thing because no one didn't help you get to where you got to. Mm. You got what I'm saying. Mm. And unless you're not connected talking about them times there still, yeah. but that's why I say it's very important to like connect and embrace bro like especially if you didn't have that when you was when you was coming up you get what I'm mm. saying 100%. like it's you, 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 it's important bro man it's important because like not everyone thinks like they not everyone thinks that they can't get advice from no. someone like there's people that want that yeah, definitely. Mm, but then they see certain man from maybe the older generation and they don't feel like they can approach them. Right. Yeah, that's some Facts. joke thing. That's some joke thing. They feel like, oh, like, is it like you get, it, they shouldn't be that though. Mm. It yeah. should be when you see man, it's love. Wagwan, what are you saying, brother? Hey, the work, keep doing the work. When I see these man, bro, that's what I'm when I see them, yo, brother, especially if I, if I actually watch you and, and yeah, I, I'm yeah, following yeah. you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I, mean, I even that make man know, way. listen, you see that tune, whatever. It, right. That's my thing, bud. Keep doing your thing, bro. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You can ask them all, bro. They will come up to me. Yo, Fris, yo, man, respect you, low. Yo, I respect you, big man. Right, then. How about that? You're, you see your thing, bro? Trust me. Just And and if, they, if you're going to advise, it should be more like on that, rather than you trying to do the, the sunning guy, the right. sunning bigger bro kind of thing. It should be like you're uplifting, 100. but with advice. Right. You could, it's just the way you deliver the message, really. You get me, car? I don't want to hear no one coming to preach to me about mm. nothing. Yeah, and that's me. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's all about the, <coughs> the delivery of the message. I think, really. Oh, 100 percent, man. Yeah. Well, listen. Anyway, winning team. That's out right Bad now. Boy right now. No um, skips. No skips. No skips. No Go fillers. stream that up. Um, and I do know this year, well, we're, what, we're in what, September, I know that come the end of the year, if I don't see Frisco at any point this year, I know New Year's Day, I'm gonna see him at Stone Love. <laughs> yeah? I if I don't that. see him, I I'll see him, him at Stone Love. <laughs> yeah? Anytime I see Frisco more time, I just see Frisco just holding the corner at Stone Love, New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah? That feels like a vibe yeah, issue. Yeah, man. I say every year. Come yeah, on, yeah. man. Nah, still enough. Them vibes there for the new year. Sometimes you just have to switch it. That's it. Yeah, you get me. Go northwest and take in them type of vibe. But that's where I'm that's at. That's where it would have been in it in west or northwest. Yeah, 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 definitely. yeah. Last one, what? Tudor Rose. Yeah. Was that where the last one was? Yeah, that's where the last one was. I'm there all the time. 
I'm there all the time. I got my thing on in earlier on. I just go there afterwards. But um, you got yo. the R and B um party, don't you? Know, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I've yeah. been hearing about that. You know, I can't. Yeah, let me tell you something. <laughs> Oi, this is between me, you, you, yeah. you, and everyone at home. Yeah. It's between just us lot. Uh, I think I found my wife there. So no. she <laughs> is sense. I can't wait to marry her for like a week. And then move on. <laughs> so she week. is brother. Yeah. Bye. You need to come. I'm due to R&B, pull up. I've been hearing about it. So. Slow jams to be specific. Yeah, the last right one at Coco's. Oh mm. my God, at Coco. Abundance. Yeah. The only bad <laughs> thing is, yeah, loads of people are coming now. So I've stepped okay. in, I think I'm crazy. It's a, bit too big, it's a couple of girls and I'm like, and then Anthony Joshua takes the mic. Oh, I just went home. Yeah. What's the point? What, what can I do now? <laughs> come on, what can I do? <laughs> Have you got howlers? Yes. Come on, my dude. I sent them to you, yeah? yeah no, you, yeah. I sent them to you. All right, because you were asleep. By the way, just in case you don't know, these is a section where he just finds howlers or whatever. You can comment on them, whatever it is. We did there. But whatever you say, I won't care. Right. All right. <laughs> I'm, cool. jo- I'm joking. We care about everyone sometimes. Um, the first one I'm going to is something that Scribs found. If you don't know, Scribs is my cousin. Honorable shout out to Scribs. Um, amazing on Twitter. Um, in real life, if you get to see him, it's just as great, but that is a rarity. This is someone that is actually my friend, but I have to give her the howler. I have to, because howlers are for everyone. Howlers are for me sometimes. So today's howler is for Steph London. I just don't believe in kicking a man when he's down. Help him up or walk past him. What happened? There is not a third option for me, for me. So I've seen her go on Instagram and decide to spread the news about her ex-boyfriend who is currently getting killed by the whole of Nigeria because of his comments on Afrobeats. Oh, burner. Burner boy. Right then. (laughs) Here are the four pages of tweets. The first one says, okay, let me do this for the last time. Finally speaking out on my relationship with Burner Boy. Now, this is my thing. I don't remember people asking. What the fuck is that emoji anyway, by the way? I don't yeah. know what that means. Yeah, no. yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I was I don't, thinking that the other day. It know. is. To me, it's like a cheeky smile. Like, should I? But you're melting into the floor, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that sent in a sexual way that before. Sense, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? But how would it make sense in that? Co- in that That's I'm what I'm saying. Let me go to the next page. Let me land. Oh, let me go land. On, go on. Let her land. Let her land. Because I didn't say this. I want no responsibility for this. Steph has then gone to say, apart from having a small D and being a mummy's boy, he also, <laughs> he also has this weird addiction of always wanting to sniff my farts. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Wow, I tried wow, to talk wow. to him about it, but he wouldn't listen. That's probably because of the smell. <laughs> There's too much going on. You can't use all your senses at one time. I just think... That is irrelevant information that no yeah, one yeah. needs to no, know. Yeah, yeah. But she goes on to say, <coughs> Burner and I were actually engaged at some point, but it was stopped by his it was stopped by a certain manager, open brackets, his mum, closed brackets. Out of jealousy, I wonder why. Now now not only are you uh, attacking Burner Boy about, you know, the size of his and certain things, you're now going on to mummy. The final page says, apart from having a small D, she likes to go back Again. to Again. I was scared he wouldn't be able to get me <laughs> pregnant. I had what? to leave. Sorry? He it's what? A, he wouldn't get me pregnant. So I had to leave. So what? He was... Uh, I'm not even going to say that. So y'all stop blowing my DM asking me about burner. Bye for now. Now, this is my problem with this message. The ending for now. That means you're coming back to say more information. Right, dude. <laughs> Secondly, the guy is going... Although he's having a fantastic time on, um, in life. A hundred percent. I don't doubt Burner Boy is sitting on top of the world just like the last sample he used. But I just feel at the same time... To bits. When you pick up your phone and it's just beer F3 is going on, I don't care how much you say that you go, you don't care. You care. No one wants to see people saying bad things about them. Currently, his thing is crazy. So I just think, Steph, I'm not here to police how people deal with their thing. I don't know what he What's done. going on with Burner? Like, what's that? What's, what's, why, why so he had an interview with Zane Lowe where he basically said that uh, Afrobeats is slightly about nothing. Yeah, it's got no substance. It's got no substance. He then linked up with a man from Jamaica and done a tune. So you know he just wants to do dance on. But that's a for another day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just think with the timing of things and how he's getting killed online, I think the timing of this situation is a bit poor for me. No, but the timing from... was never good. It was supposed to be that. It's a toxic... No, and In I... From her side or from whatever side, it's a breakup and it's... It hurts. But brother, so what happens is when it hurts. Or last month, they broke up a little oh, while no, they ago. Broke now. Up time ago. And now all of a sudden, this surfaces online, 
and then you wanna chuck it. If it was a month, two months, like I said, come on, do your thing. But big man, I don't even think there's no reason why you need to come online on the and internet and, and explain so any reason why you to anybody. Right. You didn't explain why you got in, so why are you explaining why you got out? And can I just say as Rich well, I never me. hear it. You see, after the breakup, especially <laughs> like obviously, I'm not saying this. I'm just saying in general, yeah. yeah. Especially after you've been dumped, I'm not hearing about this. All of these Wait. smooth this and these slacks to smell that. Because in the beginning, and when it was happening, you fucking you, loved it. You loved didn't it. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. It, yeah, it was all right then, weren't it? Right? So I don't want to hear about it now. Listen, if I want to sniff, sniff Big farts. Big up Steph, though. I, wanted to get to, I just want Steph to get to the music. Bro. I love Steph, but if I'm sniffing farts of a two million pound thing, <laughs> let me learn. Uh, let yeah. me learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Jada King was my girl. Let me learn. Let me do is what you I Jay want. Kingdom? Yeah. Let him land. So. Okay, Let him land. It. Is that why he said it in the tune? In the in the remix. Let him land. Okay. What, he did what? He said it. Let him land. What? what what's He's, going on? This is your landing. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. If I was Burner Boy, let me land. Yeah. I will come out and say you're damn right. I sniffed it. Ring over here. Jada over there. Listen, when you got money as well, anyway, people, like nothing is weird to a people lot of people. People care more than the actual people we're talking about. So yeah. Anyway. Next. Tip. I'm giving myself the holler for this one. Happened. I have to give myself the howler. I was on Puff Daddy, aka Diddy, aka Love, aka whatever the hell he's gonna call himself in the next ten years. I've been on him. I had no faith. Why? Because he wasn't giving back her peas. What? He, no, you don't have an STD. I'm talking about her money. He didn't give back oh. his money. He's giving back everybody. Everybody their publishing rights, from Mace to Faith Evans, One Twelve, the Locks. He's giving every. Thing back now, I came out and said, "Why the hell would he do that?" Yeah, you fuck. Yeah, you right. I said he's never gonna do it, but he's done it. He also said Black King Gods was on him, so I want to give up. Like Chucky says, an honourable shout out to Puffy. Poet was in here fighting me on that one, you know. Fighting, fighting it to bits. Fighting, I was like, he's never gonna do it. To bits, he was fighting me, and I'm saying, right at yeah, a certain point, really my uh, my argument always was, you know what? At a certain point now, like. This is what I was saying. At the time, when Puffy was working in the industry and whatever, and he was doing what he was doing, there was an industry standard that was happening, yeah, mm. right? And also, I think that when you come from a certain environment and you see, okay, this is the operation of what's been going on here, and I've got all of this talent here, and I could do something with it, I understand how someone would then start taking the talent and start doing, implementing the, the industry standard on it. But when you start having a little bit more information, you're rich now, and there's a whole bunch of other things, and you're doing this, yeah, yo, black thing, and whatever else, yeah. I think at a certain point, you've got to say, you know what? I've had this for a long time. You know what? I have that back. Mm. Just have that yeah. back, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it anymore. Yeah. I just That's didn't think it was going to happen. I genuinely didn't think it was going to happen. I thought he was going to have that sort of typical old school mentality, because he's from the old school. And I didn't believe he was going to give anyone back there, right? So, you know, my bad. No one don't own your publishing. Nah. You sure? Puff Daddy nah. on it? He linked up with you and Skeppy, and he disappeared after that. So that's why I was, I was holding feelings. I was holding feelings. I was holding feelings. I saw them all in the elevator. He has had a habit of doing that. He disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's still, but he's had a habit of doing that. Another man that's getting kicked whilst he's down, and I don't believe he deserves to get kicked because he's been through the trenches and back. And back. And some people owe oh, my bad to him as well is Kanye West. Recently in Italy. And uh, let's just I'm not just gonna say, lie, this picture here, look, my head was so in the gutter. No, 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 keep it there, because that's exactly what happened, big man. That's right, Kanye West and his wife, Bianca. Is this what I think it is? Yes, they were doing the damn thing. I respect mm. that. Yes, that's on the, the boat. There's another picture where you see it from behind, you can see his crack. Everyone keep crack off road. Um, so she was obviously doing her thing. Look who rocked the boat, Noah Leah. One love to so her as well. What's, what's, what's the issue here? He was getting head on a boat. So why, but why, he's not why allowed to so? on this particular service and it was in, but in front of a lot of people. But, but my problem is with Daily Loud. They've come out and lied and said that he was banned from all boats for life in Venice. And I feel like he was banned from Venice. This is the type of story they tried to make to just keep more. But this is what I like about Twitter. Twitter now has this thing where when you lie, they tell you you've lied. Big up Twitter. Yes, he was just banned from that one company for getting head from Bianca. 
Apart from that, he's free to get head on all other. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I be honest with you, like, anyway? Yeah, maybe this is a bit too much information. Oh, people got too but, much time, man. What uh, a man's getting a brain on the boat, and it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a story. Like, what the fuck? But bro, I'm saying to throw my brother under the bus. It, I'm taking the bus out the way and say, leave my brother. The, the my only gone. problem with like any of this picture, here is nah, no, the one with his cheek was that wasn't the one. Though, this is reparations, my brother. Why for that picture? I don't even want to see that. We were slaves to Bianca once upon a time, you know, and now. Well, it's the other way. But it's what I'm right. saying, yeah. The, the only problem with this, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. the only problem with this is more of a me problem anyway. Because yeah. the me problem is is that I don't, I can't receive top with that much clothes on. I got to take shit off. He must be hard. I got, I'm about to start taking off. Uh, I need yeah, to take my top yeah, off. I'm on a dead man. I, I take a sock me. off. Nah, I, I do have that. My puffer jacket on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Top. <laughs> Rago, like, jacket, hat, bag. Hey, oh, yeah. man, I need one sock off at least. Oh. I keep the other sock on, you know, but I just need one sock off. Well, you never got ahead in the winner. That's, Ross. Uh, listen, I don't care where I am. Yes, Sorry, brother. Bro. Yeah, we gotta go. Right? Yeah, we gotta yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I don't care where I am. So I gotta remove a layer of something. Do you know what should be removed? And stretch out. Ross, big man. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. Yo, cuz. Fam, you meant to get off a stop yeah, You're in Brixton. You'll tip this train too far. Oh, go, man. Go All right, last one is uh, I'm just going to tell you the last three years that's happening at Manchester United. That's what I'll throw out there. Just the last three years. It's a business. Chucky, a manu fan? Manu fan. Oh. This is the yes. last three years at Manchester United. Uh, man shout out Kiss Alice Talks tea. Football. And of course, <laughs> Alice Talks Footy on. Uh, Twitter has made this tweet. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm an innocent man. Three women now accusing Anthony of assault and one set to do a TV interview on it. Sancho's statement saying he is being scapegoated. Whole Greenwood situation and how awfully Richard Arnold handled it. Takeover being dragged. Uh, and now staff turning on glazers and leaking stories. Ronaldo goes on Piers Morgan. Bailey comes out and says that the club favour British players. Bailey slamming Maguire, Lingard falling up. Listen, wow. it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. There's so much. Even the Maguire Greece situation is in here. And if you don't remember that, it's when Maguire went into a club in Greece and started telling people he's a Manchester United captain, so he deserves to do F3. Look how badly that ended. Um, this is all I'm going to say. The reason why I brought this up is not to do with Manchester or Manchester United or all of these people. It's the owners. What country? Where are they from? What continent are they from? America. What country? America. Close America for eight months. No one goes in, no one goes out. We need a refurbishment. Even the people, you need a refurbishment. This is absolute <laughs> nonsense. Nonsense. Don't come over here, own football clubs and try and do what you want. Honestly, I want the Glazers out. Look at them. Go up to the, look at the picture of the Glazers. The glazers gone mad. They look oh. sick. They look racist. They can't grow hair. Go yeah. Turkey. Grow some. Go Harley Street. Something. There's something sinister about them. I don't even like that top he's wearing. I don't like anything about the Glazers. I need them to leave. Leave the club. Let's bring back Manchester United. So when we're doing better than them, it's like two, three points off the title. Know what it is right now. I believe the Glazers <laughs> are bringing the, the club <laughs> into just an absolute ah, mess. Landslide. This ain't a football show, but so what? <laughs> Glazers, go back to America, stay there for yeah. eight months, don't leave, and everybody else, don't leave as well. We need a refurbishment. Frisco, Isaac, love for coming <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh,